Hello friends, we're going to be doing an oil change on a 2015 Ford Focus SE. This is a 2.0 liter four cylinder hatchback. Uh, basically, first thing we're going to do is put the vehicle on uh, ramps. Got the Rhino ramps there. And uh, next, we're going to shut off the vehicle. Take the keys out, make sure you put it on, pull the emergency brakes up, so that's up right there, and pop the hood open, I'm going to go ahead and open the front hood, Okay, this one takes about four quarts. We'll figure out the total. Um, it's at four to four and a half. It takes 5W20. It's got four cylinders. And we're going to be using the Royal Purple High Performance Motor Oil. It's synthetic oil. 5W20. Picked this up from Walmart for $38 plus tax. We're going to use the um, Fram Ultra Synthetic uh, oil filter as well. So, first thing we're going to do to change the oil is to we need to flush the old and dirty oil and replace the old dirty filter with a new one. To flush the old dirty oil, we're going to use a 15 millimeter socket with a ratchet and <clears throat> unscrew that oil plug. It is a 15 millimeter bolt. All right, it's going to start leaking dirty oil right there. It comes out. Be sure the, the engine oil is not too hot. Let the vehicle cool off. If it's been running hot, let it cool off for one to two hours or so. So you don't burn your skin or fingers. Okay, that's coming out almost. And there. Whoa. We got a little spill. Happens sometimes. Alright, we're going to let that drain for now. For about, oh, I would say ten minutes or so. And... We're also going to remove the uh, oil filter next. So the oil filter is located towards the front. This is the front of the vehicle. This is the front bumper right here. And you come right under it and you can see it right towards the front bumper, right behind the radiator. That's the oil filter and that's the oil plug, oil pan plug, oil, dirty oil dripping. So. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a risk. If I um, remove the dirty oil filter now, it's gonna be spilling. Oh, let's not do it yet. Oh, little accident. So as you can see, the, there's a little bit of dirty oil coming out of the old oil filter. I'm gonna use a little dirty rug to remove that so we don't get our hands dirty. And of course it's gonna spill some more. Oh, that's normal and expected. And we will uh, pull the oil pan a little bit towards us. So let the oil filter oil opening drip some more. All right, we'll let that drip for now. And we'll just come back after about five minutes or so to put the new oil filter. Um, actually, while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and take the new oil filter, pull it out. Be sure to use a little bit of old oil and rub it around the O-ring. We need that so that for next time around, the oil filter doesn't stick or the o-ring doesn't stick with heat sometimes it burns and uh, and it uh, sticks to the uh, engine oil pan or that bottom of the engine 
and it'll be hard to remove it next time so to prevent that we're gonna rub a little bit of old oil there uh, why not new oil why old oil well actually it doesn't matter if it's dirty or clean because it's not really gonna go inside the engine and as you can see right here it's almost done dripping I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the outer edges with a and okay that looks good now guys we could wait all night or for hours and hours but you'll always have a little bit of dirty oil maybe one to two up to few ounces in total left dirty oil old oil inside the engine compartment all over the engine so it always happens but we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, new filter in anyways all right we're gonna go ahead and screw that in there I like how Ford designed this one it's real easy access and we're gonna tighten it to about oh 20 to 30 pounds foot of torque that's uh just using one hand if you don't over tighten it don't be afraid it's not going to be dripping or leaking oil these things are pretty hard all right once it's tight there we'll leave it there and next we're going to be putting uh the oil pan plug back in gonna screw that 15 millimeter bolt back in there and before we do that we should clean that dripping oil there it's still dripping so let's give it another couple minutes yep we're gonna give it a couple more minutes okay so we gave it another about five to ten minutes and as you can see the oil dripping has slowed down considerably and at this point it's dripping one drop every oh two three seconds but it's gonna keep dri dripping all night if we leave it like that so I cleaned this 15 millimeter oil plug we're just gonna go ahead and screw that back in there and has to be pretty tight there go ahead and tighten that And remember that's a 15 millimeter bolt, the oil plug. Okay, almost there. okay that's tight enough and we'll just wipe that bottom part off a little bit make sure it's clean okay next we're ready to fill it up with fresh oil okay we'll put the funnel in there and I'm gonna set the camera right over here so you guys can see it and we'll use the royal purple oil oil purple oil because it's synthetic it's just a premium oil we'll put about four quarts and then go from there they recommend four to four and a half but I saw uh, conflicting views online so we'll just put four quarts and then see and we're using oil purple oil as you can see the color itself is purple as well it's a synthetic oil it's three to four times thinner than other synthetic oils and it's 
it's a high performance oil. Also supposed to improve your fuel efficiency mileage. And let's see. Okay, I'm almost down to about one quart. This is a five quart bottle. Looks like I'm down to about one and a half quart. Okay, about 1.2 left. All right, that's about one quart left. So that means there's four quarts of oil in the engine. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the funnel and put the cap back on the vehicle. And there we go. And we'll go ahead and start the engine next. Uh, that part's done. So three pieces put together. The oil filter is back in there. The oil plug is back in there as well. And now we've got four quarts of oil. And we're gonna go ahead and start the engine and let it run for about one to two minutes before we can drive it. Okay guys, this one has, this uh, Fort Focus got 26,000 miles, 26,586. Now on Royal Purple, you can go up to 12,000 miles. I usually like to change them around 10,000 depending on how you drive. And sounds good, we're done. Now, as far as how much oil to put, we put four quarts at the moment. I'm gonna pull the vehicle slowly back, measure it again, and the dipstick. I'm gonna measure the oil dipstick. Oh, be sure to lower your emergency brakes, release the emergency brakes. And then we'll slowly back down. Uh, flat level surface now. I'm gonna go ahead and measure the dipstick again and let you know exactly how much is normal. Okay guys, so I left the vehicle um, parked for about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes now, and I went online and checked as to how much oil we should put in this Ford Focus. It's got the 2.0 liter uh, four cylinder engine and it is recommended by Ford to put 4.7 quarts of oil. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, measure it again on the dipstick. It was kind of close to the metal there. Okay, I don't know if you can see it right here. Okay, let me see. Okay, that's... So anyways, that's, that's the second, oh, that's disappearing again. So that's kind of right towards the middle there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's easy to see for me from here. So go ahead and put 4.7 quarts and you'll be fine. Alright, that concludes the oil change for this Sport Focus. Good luck with yours and be careful.